Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So in today's tutorial, I decided to go for something different, something a bit more fun. So I decided to go for an 80s inspired makeup look. And you guys, I even did the side pony and I feel like I really brought it home with the ashy face, the bright cheeks, the bright shadow, over the top earrings and the bright lip. So, um, I have no idea what inspired me to do this today, but I just wanted to do something fun and something different. And I hope you guys will actually enjoy watching this tutorial. <laughs> so if you guys are new to my channel and have not subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe before we get into this tutorial. And if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this makeup look, please keep on watching. So first up, I'm going to take my photo loving primer from NYX. And I'm just going to apply this on my face. Then I'm going to take my Fit Me Maybelline foundation in the shade 350 and 332. I'm going to mix these together. Today for concealer, I'm going to be taking my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. And I'm going to use this to highlight underneath my eyes, on my forehead, my chin and on my nose. And I'm going to use the same brush to blend this out. I'm going to switch to a much smaller blending brush and I'm going to use it to blend out that concealer because this concealer is way more creamier than my foundation and I feel like that big one is not working as well as I want it to work so switching up To set my concealer in place and making sure that it won't move throughout the day, I'm going to be taking my LA Pro Girl powder in the shade Banana Yellow. Then I'm going to blend out my nose concealer. Like that. Then I set that with powder. I'm just going to let it bake for like a minute or two. So in the meantime, I'm going to take my Yardy Loose Powder in the shade Caramelized. And I like using this powder too set to my upper lip because it's much closer to my skin tone so when I use it to set my upper lip it blends in very nicely I used to use my banana powder to set my upper lip then I would notice throughout the day my upper lip is highlighted because that powder is much lighter so I decided to switch to this one and I really love the way it looks and how it blends in with the face then I use that caramelized powder on the sides of my nose. This is going to help with the contouring of the nose. And at the very tip of the nose as well. And then I dust off the top powder as well. Today I'm going to be using these two palettes. I'm going to use my NYX Perfect Filter one and my um, Nude Awakening one from Wet n Wild. 
So first up, I'm going to go in with the Nude Awakening palette from Wet n Wild and I'm going to go in with that brown shade right over there. I love these palettes because they're so affordable and they have great pigmentation as well. So first up, I am just going to put that color on the outer corner of my eye and I'm going to bring it towards the inner corner right on the crease and i want to keep this look as tight as possible i don't want to have it blown out so i'm going to make sure to keep it right there I'm gonna do a circular motion on the outer corner until I feel like the shadow that is on my brush is fully blended out. Then I'm gonna go into my next palette. This is the Perfect Falls for One Rustic Antique. And I am gonna go into that beautiful, beautiful red shade over there, almost close to burgundy. I'm not, okay, no, I'm not going to go into that one. I'm going to go into this shade right over there, the matte one, because this one, this one is a shimmer. So I want this matte one over there. I'm just going to switch brushes. I'm going to go for this one. This is also a blending brush, but it's much more tapered and thinner than the one I was using just now. I'm going to dig into that palette. And I'm going to take this red shade into my inner corner. Then I'm going to go back into the first brush that I was using. And I am going to dip into that brown shade that I used the first time. And I am just going to deepen up that shade. That shade is so beautiful. Then I'm going to take my color blending brush. This is the blending 311. And I'm just going to use this to blend out the edges of the shadow. So that I have something seamless and beautiful with no harsh lines. Next up, I'm going to take my small flat shader brush from Morphe and I want to go into my next palette again, but this time I'm going in for that beautiful gold shade over there. And I am going to go on my inner corner. so beautiful oh my god then I'm gonna take my brush the one that had that red shade I'm gonna make sure that all those colors are blended in nicely Then I'm going to take my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Black. And I want to use this eye pencil on my outer corner. I want to create sort of like a wing um, shaded look. I'm going to take the liner and I'm going to apply that on the outer corner. And an angle.
Then I'm going to take this small pencil brush from Morphe and I am going to try to blend that out so it gives me a nice smoky look. And now for my lower lashes, I'm going to take this pencil brush and I'm going to dip it into the brown shade from my root from my Nude Awakening palette and I'm just going to run this as close as possible to my lash line then I'm going to dip into that red shade from my Erastic Antique palette and I am just going to run it over And now I'm going to put on mascara and I'm going to put on my false lashes. So for today, I'm just going to use these random false lashes that I just buy from these um, shops from the mall. And this is how they look. Alright guys, so that is it for the eyes. Now back onto my face. I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Blush Palette. And I am going to apply it together with my MAC um, Whisper of Guilt Highlight. I'm going to start by dipping into the highlight using my Eco Tools blush brush and I'm going to go into the blush. I'm going to apply this on my forehead as well and I'm going to apply it on my chin too. Then I'm going to go back into my highlighter and I'm just going to use my finger and apply that. It's a brow bone highlight. Now onto my lips, I am going to take my Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lip. And I'm just going to apply this. And now to finish up the look, I'm going to take my Mandarin Face Mist from the Body Shop. Alright guys, so that is it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe before you leave. If you liked the video, please go ahead and tell me all about it in the comment section down below. Also guys, if you want to see certain types of tutorial from me, you can also go ahead and leave a comment down below in the comment section and I'll respond and I'll make sure to do whatever it is that you guys request me to do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.